Welcome to my channel, where we explore the fascinating world of chess. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, you're sure to find something to enjoy here. From exciting games and insightful analyses to tutorials and strategy guides, this channel has it all. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the game of kings. Today, we have a game between Mayu00, playing white, and Ikwim underscore Nazir, playing black, on chess.com. Mayu00 starts with 1, d4, a common opening move in modern chess. Black responds with 1, d5, leading to a queen's pawn game. White then plays 2, d3, setting up a pawn chain in the center. Black responds with 2, nc6, putting pressure on white's pawn structure. The queen's pawn opening is a popular chess opening that begins with the moves 1, d4, d5, 2, e3. It is also known as the D pawn special, and is a relatively quiet opening that often leads to a closed game. By advancing the D pawn, white aims to control the center and develop the dark squared bishop. The move to E3 is known as the Stonewall attack, and can be used to build a solid pawn structure and prepare for a kingside attack. The queen's pawn opening can also transpose into other openings, such as the queen's gambit or the king's Indian defense. Overall, the Queen's Pawn opening is a versatile opening that allows for a wide range of strategic plans and can be used effectively at all levels of play. Continue to the game, both players develop their pieces with 3, nc3 and 3, nf6. White then plays 4, nf3, controlling the e5 square and developing the knight. Black responds with 4, bf5, attacking White's pawn chain. White continues with 5, bd2, preparing to castle. Black plays 5, e6, controlling the d5 square and preparing to castle as well. White continues with 6, b2, attacking the f7 square. Black responds with 6, h6, preventing any future pin by white's bishop. White then plays 7, bc1, preparing to fianchetto the bishop. Black plays 7, bd6, developing the bishop and preparing to castle. White castles kingside on move 8, while black castles queenside on move 8. White continues with 9, bxf5 exf5, exchanging off the bishop for black's knight. Black responds with 10, re8, placing the rook on the e-file. White plays 11, bd2, preparing to castle queenside. Black puts pressure on white's pawn chain with 11, nb4, attacking the c2 pawn. White responds with 12, Oh, 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 castling queenside. Black continues with 12, a 5, controlling the b4 square. White then plays 13, na4, defending the c2 pawn. Black responds with 13, nx a2, winning a pawn. White plays 14, kb1, attacking black's knight. Black responds with 14, nb4, defending the knight and attacking white's pawn. White continues with 15, b3, blocking black's pawn. Black then plays 15, c5, opening up the position and attacking white's pawn chain. White responds with 16, bxc5, exchanging pawns in the center. Black plays 16, bxc5, recapturing with the bishop and attacking white's pawn on b3. White then plays 17, kb2, preparing to move the rook to the c-file. Black continues with 17, qc7, attacking white's pawn on c5. White plays 18, rhb1, defending the pawn and preparing to move the rook to the b-file. Black then plays 18, bd6, attacking white's pawn on b3 again. White plays 19, kc1, defending the pawn and preparing to move the king to safety. Black continues with 19, qxc2, delivering a checkmate on move 19. Overall, an interesting game with both sides developing their pieces and making tactical maneuvers. Black's queenside castle proved to be an effective strategy, allowing for quick attacks on white's pawn chain and ultimately leading to a checkmate. In this game, white's position slowly deteriorated due to a lack of plan and coordination. Black, on the other hand, executed a well-thought-out plan of attacking on the queenside, and white failed to respond effectively. Black's move 10, re8 was particularly strong, as it allowed the black queen to come into play and target the weakened white kingside. 
The key lesson we can learn from this game is the importance of having a clear plan and executing it effectively. It's not enough to simply make moves without a strategic purpose or to rely solely on tactics. It's also crucial to be aware of potential weaknesses in your own position and the opponent's position, and to be prepared to respond to threats accordingly. Additionally, it's important to maintain coordination among your pieces and to not neglect any areas of the board. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. And if you have a game you'd like me to analyze, feel free to share it in the comments below. I'm always looking for new challenges and interesting positions to explore. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.